Hey everyone, Sandman here. Uh, this one's a strange one today. It's Beware the Creeper, number three, from uh, August 2003. It's a Vertigo X book, so I guess it's an upgrade of just Vertigo. It's a Vertigo X. And it falls in that 2003 period where I kind of, I was going to school, so I kind of couldn't afford to keep up with comics at the time. Um, I found this in the dollar bin, but I kept coming back to this and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized it was a uh, Cliff Chang art, which is like, I just love Cliff Chang's art. It's just amazing. I and mean, then there isn't really too much of it. Like he recently did a, the New 52 run, and when I say recently, that was, what, 2011? <laughs> That's like seven years ago. Yeah, no, I just, I just love his art. <laughs> there needs to be more comics with his art. Uh, this is kind of an interesting uh, kind of revamp or addition to the Creeper mythologies. Um, well, it's, I'm not familiar with Jason Hall at all. I don't recall seeing his name ever before or after this. But, uh, yeah, this is like a tale about the Creeper, who's a female, during a Victorian era France. So, early 1900s, possibly 1800. Since it's number three, too, I wasn't really able to uh, figure out too much of the story. But I do know there's a creeper going around um, vandalizing or defacing stuff. I don't know if it's art in particular or political figures or what. I don't know what the motive is. They don't, this comic doesn't really uh, show us the viewpoint of the creeper. Like, having read just issue three and not one and two, I, uh, I don't even know which character is supposed to be the creeper. I have a good idea who I think it is, but there's nothing obvious in the, in the dialogue. So once again, like, uh, I don't know how many people of you would like this. Like, I like this a lot, but mostly because of the Cliff Chang art. Uh, the story, I would say, is almost very non-superhero-ish, even though it's based on a superhero character. It's, uh, it's more kind of like a period piece. Victorian area of France and uh, a commentary on society and possibly a comment on feminism and, and how women were treated back in that time. So, yeah, this is probably going to be a quick video. It's not really much to say and because it is mostly like a drama rather than a superhero comic. Most pages will seem kind of uninteresting. There's just a lot of people talking and walking. <laughs> and a lot of really dialogue heavy. Uh, actually, it's not bad. Like, I've seen superhero books with more dialogue than this. It's, um, but it's really story focused rather than uh, action focused, I guess I'm saying. Um, not having to know anything about this, or not knowing anything about this, and uh, just reading it kind of in the middle of the story, I still found it enjoyable. And, you know, to me, it's, it's a buy just because of Cliff Chang's art. And uh, that's about it. I should probably stop there. Uh, just a quickie, I guess. Just wanted to share this one. Because I don't think too many people pick this up. I don't hear any talk about this. I didn't even know this existed. 
So, uh, yeah, if you can find it, pick it up. It's probably in digital. I don't know, I haven't checked, but, uh, yeah. So just click subscribe to, uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. And thanks for watching. Bye.